Hey, uh, this is Jason, and this is my Arduino project. It's a, it's a Game Boy ROM ripper, and they've, um, I guess they've also will rip and save and edit the, uh, the SRAM, or like the save data, I guess. Um, it's not actually wired up for that. I just have it wired up for ripping, so the circuit didn't be as simple as possible. The camera's pretty crappy, so I don't think you'll be able to really see it that much anyway, um, unfortunately. This is, that's not going to work out, is it? Um, that's Tetris. And I have, this is the Arduino code, and this is processing code that receives the data and saves it. And this is just where the processing is, and it's into this folder that uh, the data will be ripped. So I'm just going to get started. Um, It uh, it says how far, or it says like um, how many bytes are you ripped from here? Um, I'll just talk about it for a second while it's ripping. Um, right now, Tetris is actually a game without a mapper chip, but I have set it up to um, also rip games that have the Nintendo mapper, like one. But unfortunately, one of the, like it, it, uh, it works, and like I've produced functional rips of games with the f first mapper chip. But I have one game that, according to this ROM set, I has has the first mapper chip. But it th th that particular game just screws up, so that makes me think that maybe I'm implementing something wrong. <laughs> like in, that it only works with some games, so I'm deciding not to demonstrate that just to play on the safe side because. Uh, Games without the uh, mapper chip work all the time, so I thought that was kind of a safer bet. Um, it takes quite a while to rip because the ports on the... I'm using the uh, Mega, the ports on it are really weird. So I have to use, like, a digital um, digital write every time I... Uh, or I mean, um, what is it? Yeah, I need to use that digital write every time I... Uh, like like through each of the pins when I, every time I change the access, which can get kind of costly. Um, what I'm gonna do is just switch it so it will only switch the bits that um, that actually need to change. So that should speed it up considerably. But uh, like I said, like I just thought I'd give this video while I'm sure it's working, <laughs> basically. So yeah, I'm just gonna. At this point, I'll probably just fast forward it. Um, yeah, sorry that took a while. Like I said, those uh, those digital write calls are pretty costly. So I um, yeah. Hopefully this works. All right, well, that's, um, that is the ROM ripper. If the save editing works out, like I, I hope it does, um, it will, I'll probably do like a live demonstration of that in class of this thing I'm planning to do. But if not, then this is, that's all you get, jerks. Um, <laughs> Oh, and uh, I guess I should point out that uh, it just saved the file as this rip.gb in the uh, processing folder that I, for my program. So, yeah. Bye.